And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 75 Sage Quest in Final Fantasy XIV. And as always, hello from Ifri. So we are here in Idleshire at 6-5, and we need to talk to Lala. The quest is called A Poison Gift. So Lala wishes to review the situation as it stands. And Mifri, pray forgive me my earlier bewilderment. Um, if you do not mind, I would review the situation as it stands. Uh, we have been laboring under the assumption that Lofa and his companions had come to Eorzea to further enhance themselves in their pursuit of forbidden power. Uh, to that end, did they seek to procure uh, Muscaloi, uh, which uh, they would use in conjunction with the stolen soul crystal? But it wasn't the Muscaloi uh, that they wanted. No, they wanted was the man who wanted it, Master Faldrinet. Uh, using the herb as a lead, they went to the Arboritorum in anticipation of their quarry's arrival, and failing to find it there, they made their way to Lost Hope. Such is my theory, at any rate. Uh, what do you make of all this? Lofa and his companions aren't criminals, they're victims. Lofa's a madman and a fool besides. So, you think so too? So, there is something else, Mifri. The rumours I mentioned of a Charlian healer who conducted heinous uh, procedures in live subjects. After sharing recent developments uh, with command, they reopened the investigation and have, to our considerable shock and surprise, confirmed that there appears uh, to be some truth to them after all. Uh, the villain went to great lengths to conclude, sorry, conceal his operation, and thus did he manage to elude the authorities for years. The man's identity is yet to be conclusively ascertained, but we have a suspect, a sage who disappeared from Charlian shortly before our fugitive first appeared. A sage by the name of uh, Gildivane. Yes, the same Gildivane who took uh, Mahud and Ansel into his care, I expect. Um, if they were victims of his experiments, when they would, uh, sorry, then they would have every reason to follow him to the ends of the world. Uh, while much of this is conjecture, um, it goes towards explaining that which we know. Let's proceed on this assumption and have the truth from the man at the heart of recent incidents, uh, Faldrina. And now, according to the apocryphy. Uh, Twas a merchant in Aleport who introduced them. If we find this merchant, we may also find a Faldrinet. Do Vilbrand. Cool. Alright, let's go to Aleport. Okay, we made it to Aleport. Let's talk to her. So this is Aleport, one of Vilbrand's foremost trading hubs. Ah, how I should like to take in the sights, but I must wait. We have work to do. Uh, we must try to find this merchant before Faldrinet does. As I recall, the man deals in Favnerian wares. Let us begin by... The healer. Send for a healer. Uh, you're a healer. Good. We've got us uh, some badly hurt fog just outside. Attacked by the looks of it. Can you go and tend to them? So... Might be as whoever did this is still near, so watch yourselves. I'm going to raise the alarm. Okay. So, let's uh, again catch up with Lala. Okay, here we are. So, let's talk to her. So uh, what the world happened? Uh. We're too uh, late to help the merchant. But well, Lofa, you can still save him. Uh, yeah, our early, earlier speculation was simply that speculation. We did not know. Uh, for certain, what he and his companions seek to accomplish. 
What we do know, however, is that they took a life in Charlion. They are murderers. I know it is not my place to pass judgment, but they took her from me, my mother. So, he was right. I am a fool. I thought I was strong enough to keep my feelings out of it. Lothar uh, protected me, I owe him. Lothar can't tell us anything if he's dead. Yes, I remember. And I understand that the man who took my mother's life was not in his right mind. Forgive me my indecision, Mifri. Please render Lofa your aid. Okay. Click. Uh. Use diagnosis. Okay, so we actually have to use a certain ability. Yeah. Are you all right? Uh, Mahud and Ansel, where are they? They were not here when we arrived, only the merchant. It was too late for him, but Mifri was able to save you. Huh. Uh, will you tell us what happened? Uh, who was it that attacked you? Uh, Guildy Vane, who else? That bastard is still out there because of you. And now... So, it is as we had suspected. Falderan is Guildy Vane. Uh, finally ready to accept it, are you? Um, he could change his face and his name, but there is no changing the monster he is. Uh, still masquerading as a kind-hearted healer, a wolf in sheep's clothing who preys upon the vulnerable for his vile experiments. So you were indeed his test objects. I am sorry. Had I known, I... Save your apology. It won't bring Mahud and Ansel back. <clears throat> when we confronted Gildivane, they shielded me from his magitech. He must have taken him. <coughs> I couldn't do anything, but all the power and the sacrifice, I couldn't do a damn thing. Uh, what are you talking about? I was born with the disease of the lungs. As I grew, I s so too did it worsen, until I had but a few moons left to live. It was then that <coughs> Gildervain appeared before us, before me and my master. Uh, with the wisdom of Charlion, he could cure me, he said. Having believed for so long that I never had a chance, I wasn't sure how to feel, but my master was overjoyed, and seeing that joy, for the first time I wanted to live, for him, for me. But we were fooled. In the guise of treatment, Gildervain subjected me to a dangerous procedure to fortify my aether. I wasn't the only one, there were others, so many others, but one after another they disappeared until only a few of us remained. Uh, we who survived ha had been more than cured. We'd been given unnatural powers. I was twice as strong as any man and could channel magics with ease. Um, for all the good it did, I was no match for Gildivane and his tricks. Worse still, I couldn't protect Mahud and Ansel. Um, if this life is my reward for all the suffering and sacrifice, um, I'd have been better off dead. Uh, whatever life uh, you have is still a life, and you owe it to the others to make the most of it. Mahud and Ansel still need you. You can't give up now. Yeah, I felt the first one was like a, what a fortune cookie might say.
Help me, please. Be sad. Be cry. I want to save them, but I can't do it alone. I need help, so please. Fair enough. Okay, let's talk to him again. So, if Gildevain went to the trouble of taking Mah uh, Mahud and Ansel, it can only mean one thing, that he means to experiment on them again. Uh, we can't let that happen. We have to find and save them. Wait, even if we manage to ascertain Gildy Vane's whereabouts, the fact remains that the three of you together couldn't overpower him. We cannot expect to fare much better. In all likelihood, he himself is also enhanced. If we are to confront him, we must have a foolproof plan. Do you not agree, Mifri? Very well. Uh, for now, I ask that you return to Idleshire. I will join you there after briefing the Yellow Jackets on the situation. Alright, let's head back to Idleshire. Okay, we made it back to Idleshire, so let's talk to her. So, tidings from Command Mifri. They have confirmed that Gildervain used Maslamoy in his procedure. Despite his attempts to destroy all evidence of his crimes, traces of the herb were found in his laboratory. Furthermore, no record exists of a healer named Faldronet. Um, if ever there was any doubt it was a false identity, there is none now. In hindsight, we should have tried to explain everything to you, but we didn't know who to trust. Um, even if you had attempted to convince me, I doubt I would have listened. I saw what I wanted to see, believe what I needed to believe. Even with the mounting evidence, I wavered over whether we should save you. Uh, my mother would have been ashamed to see uh, what I had become. I took up the shield because I wanted to protect all life, just as she did to her dying breath. Your mother was a warrior like you? Uh, she was a healer. The soul crystal you took, it was hers. Then the woman that day was your mother? Uh, Gul'devain had already fled Charlion. We were attempting to escape when one of our comrades collapsed in pain. Uh, someone chanced to see us. Another sage um, at Sysis Tecton. Or Tecnon. Uh, suspicious, so we must have looked. She rushed over to our aid without hesitation. But our companion, he flew into a frenzy, and we couldn't stop him. Tried to save her, uh, the gods know I did, but with the last of her strength, she pressed the crystal into my hand. Forgive me. There's no to forgive, she did what she had always done. Uh, what she believed was right. If she had any regrets, it would, be, it would doubtless be that she couldn't help you sooner. As for the crystal, she clearly wished for you to have it. She must have seen something in you in that moment. It is my hope that you will carry on a legacy and fight for the future of all lives. The future of all lives. So I shall dedicate my efforts to locating Gildervain. Until I do, please continue practicing your skills. Uh, the better to be prepared for when we face him. Cool. And then the next quest is at level 78. So anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.